From 1865 through to 1914, Bayer Peacock supplied a huge number of steam locomotives for the New South Wales Government Railways. Builders' numbers were not cast on the plate, which has made it very difficult to know exactly which locomotive a plate is from. Up until 1900, the dominant type of builder's plate fitted to Bayer Peacock locomotives was a 16.5 inch wide oval cast in bronze. Locos with tenders carried four plates, one on each side of the smoke box, or occasionally sand box, and one on each side of the tender. Tank engines carried two, either on each side of the smoke box or in the centre of each side tank. It is clear from photographic evidence that most of the plates fitted to the engines were removed over time, but the plates on the tenders usually managed to survive until the tender was scrapped. The New South Wales Railways workshops had a policy of melting down any bronze items off locomotives that were no longer needed and recycling the metal. It was not until the early 1960s that the railways began to salvage builders' plates, and by then it was mainly only the plates off tenders that had survived, especially from older classes of locomotives. This 1890 plate is from Tank Engine 2015. This locomotive was sold to the Australian Iron and Steel Company in the late 1930s and spent many years working around Port Kembla and managed to retain its builder's plate until the late 1950s when an observant employee rescued it while the tanks were being overhauled. This 1891 plate is from the tender of 3201. Fortunately, when the plate was salvaged, the tender tab was recorded. These numbers were cast on small oval plates which were attached to the tenders when they first entered service and identified which locomotive the tender was built with. At the time the tender was scrapped, it carried the loco number 3212, which was the last engine it was paired with. Quite often it was the loco number painted on the tender and not the tender tab that was recorded as being the locomotive the plate belonged to, which is obviously incorrect. Not all the builder's plates attached to the engines were oval. Plates like this magnificent 26 inch wide example were fitted above the centre driving wheels of the 25 class and 46 members of the 19 class built by Bayer Peacock. This plate has 2543 engraved on the rear but that cannot be considered conclusive proof of origin. In 1900, Bayek Peacock began placing smaller oval builder's plates on their locomotives. This 10 inch wide 1902 plate is described in the Department of Railways documentation sent to the person who purchased it as being removed from locomotive 3264. However, Bayer Peacock's official records show that 3264 was constructed in 1901. This mistake almost certainly is the result of the person who removed the plate from the tender while it was being scrapped, recording the number that was painted on the tender and not the tender tab number. In other words, this 1902 plate came off the tender that was last paired with 3264, but it must have been on one of the tenders originally built in 1902 for 3270 through to 3275. By the time the New South Wales Railways ordered the 60 class Garrett's from Bayer Peacock in the 1950s, the company was casting builders numbers on the plates. The 60s carried two 19 inch wide plates, one on each side of the boiler cradle. This plate number 7483 is from locomotive 6011. It's safe to assume that most, if not all the plates from this class were saved. Bayer Garrett plates are highly sought after and now fetch very high prices on the international market.